Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Javier with The Real Javier Novoa, a channel, a platform, and a modality where we apply the principles of philosophy, spirituality, and mysticism to rapid lifestyle transformation. Today we have a big video and one that really ties in and conveniently dovetails with a lot of the topics that we've been tackling over the last few days and I got an email from a subscriber and as we uh, as I always say you can ask questions by emailing me you can put them in the comments you can also ask them on our Facebook group I love to take questions and to respond to questions and this subscriber uh, was asking about dissolution of the ego and enlightenment and she was saying basically that many spiritual teachers and gurus speak about the fact that we have to do sadhana we have to do some kind of purification of karma in order to dissolve the ego uh, she also went into the fact that we're here to learn lessons and to grow and so on and so forth today I just want to debunk first of all the issue of authority and second of all the issue that we're here to clear any karma or to dissolve any ego because as we said in the early days in this channel on my spiritual rant and if I can I will provide a link to that that was in the early days of this channel I spoke about the fact that I'm really not concerned with quote unquote enlightenment because I don't know what it is and so many gurus and spiritual teachers speak of it and they say they're enlightened or they knew of other enlightened individuals and yet when I observe these enlightened individuals they seem to be human just like every other human they eat sleep and drink and partake in other human activities so what is enlightenment even Neville Goddard goes into these uh, aspects of enlightenment and so on and so forth and the seeing of the Christ child and the seeing of David as far as I'm concerned these are beautiful symbologies and symbolisms for the story that's unfolding within each of us but it's not as if there's some kind of event that we're trying to get to because if we're waiting on some event then that's implying that there's a power outside of you and what I'm trying to drive home to you in this channel is that there can be no power outside of you because there's no true existence outside of you that's why Neville Goddard said everything is you pushed out you are it and if you search the scriptures of every religion encoded within them is this message that you are the one power in fact the biblical scripture speaks of this so it, sp it speaks so eloquently and beautifully about the tabernacle which is carried upon the shoulders of priests that of course symbolizes the skull and the head which is carried upon your shoulders as in the letters of Paul where he talked about that every man is a king and a priest the whole message that needs to be driven home here is that there can be no other power there can be no other authority there can even be no other existent therefore there's nothing that you have to work to and from where is this idea that there's some kind of enlightenment or something that you must seek does that really come from within you or has it been given to you by these teachers or gurus and why would you give your authority away to someone else we always talk about in this channel that you must refer to your inner authority and I contend that you always refer to your inner authority anyway either subconsciously or consciously you might as well make it explicit even when choosing an authority to listen to you choose the person who resonates with you more you choose the person who's more in line with what with your feelings and your feelings are an indication of the conveyance so to speak of your inner being so you're already following that inner authority anyway where people get tripped up is where they try to put their desires on hold or they try to make their desires the desire of that authority or they try to give their energy to that authority and that is negative ladies and gentlemen in that it will hold what you want away from you 
in time and in space. And of course, as we know, this journey is eternal and you are going to get what you want no matter what. But it's certainly a sorrowful thing to have passed many years trying to please or satisfy a certain authority only to figure out that it was all for naught. I know Neville Goddard has a chapter in one of his books uh, called, uh, it was one of his first books, uh, Your Faith is Your Fortune, and where he talks about doing away with these teachers and elders and so on and so forth and relying upon your own inner authority. Except the fact that you are it. There is no real ego separated from an enlightened self. You, the whole complex of you is it. And your desires are sacred, your true desires. And following your true desires needs no justification from any outer authority. Know this well. So I want you to cast aside looking for any other gauge or any other standard outside of yourself because your feelings will give you all of the indications that you need in order to go in the right direction for you and this is simply self-evident in fact you cannot prove the the opposite of this because as a many great philosopher said the the indication that something is an axiom is that you use it in the very act of trying to disprove it. So if you were to say to me, no, I'm not my inner authority. Well, I'm not my own authority and there's an authority outside of me that I need to follow. Why would you follow that authority? Well, because I f at the end, when you boil all the arguments down, it's because the person has a sense or a feeling that that's correct. Even though many of the times they don't really have a sense that's correct and they're just parroting uh, some uh, imposed thoughts and so on and so forth and we can teach you how to get out of that but they're using this they're using their own inner authority in an attempt to try to disprove their inner authority so the fact that you do have an inner authority and you rely on that is an axiom therefore rely on your own inner authority ladies and gentlemen you're not here to prove anything we're not here to learn any lessons, although many spiritual teachers do say this, and this can be reduced and boiled down to something more basic. When they say you're here to learn lessons, what they really mean is you're here to work out your path, and that you had some desires when you came in, and you had some uh, plans when you came in, and that is true. Because all the spiritual texts talk about this, even the Quran talks about that we accepted to come here, and so on and so forth. But to couch it in terms of there's a lesson I have to learn means that there's some, something outside of you that is apart from you and that you have to try to get to. This is completely false. And in this modality, we do not teach that. And we teach that there's nothing outside of you. You have it all. Therefore, you contain the entirety of the cosmos you contain the entirety of all possibilities, all film roles, and you can get on any film role that you want due to the fact that you are it. Because there's no separation, ladies and gentlemen. It goes back to our chart on the levels of being with divinity at the top and physicality at the bottom. And, of course, we are just in a game, in a simulation, probably in many layers of dreams. Many philosophers have spoken about the fact that when you dream and you wake up, sometimes it's even painful to awaken from that dream, but you quickly forget the dream. And when you die, even uh, the uh, Islamic uh, companion of the Prophet Muhammad said, Ali salam said, that everyone is asleep and, and when, we wake, when we die, we wake up. Mankind is asleep and when he dies, he wakes up. So you're simply awakening from a dream. Well, what if it's all simply layers of dreams? You go from one dream to another dream. And there's really no termination. Therefore, all of these dreams exist within you. And the proof is, when you're dreaming, you feel that it's real. So just know that everything exists within you. Know that trying to work hard and run after these concepts such as enlightenment or trying to have some kind of experience 
is already negating that because you're putting yourself on a film role where you have to earn it and then where you have to try to get this experience. No. Have the experience now. Imagine yourself surrounded by the experience or the circumstances that you want to surround yourself with and I promise you that will occur in the physical. It is law. Remember, there's nothing separate from you. Declare your authority, embody your authority, possess it, receive it, and have it, and you will know it. And when you know it, ladies and gentlemen, your life will take off. You are the teacher. You are the master. You are the guru. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. If you find value in our materials, please subscribe and like to our channel so that we can get this information out to as many people as possible. You can always ask me questions on the emails, uh, in the comments, on the Facebook group. I'm also doing coaching calls where I take you hand in hand down the path of these methodologies and uh, you can accomplish more in weeks what it takes many people to accomplish in years. So thank you so much. We do have big videos coming up this weekend you don't want to miss that so until very soon until tomorrow this is Javier with great love and great appreciation I'll see you soon